everybody. Today I did a very uncharacteristic thing. Is that the word? An out of character thing. And I made eggs for breakfast. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I have a very complicated relationship with eggs. They're always something that I crave, but I kind of hate. I got my first Starbucks Christmas drink of the season this morning. I got the iced sugar cookie almond milk latte, but I got it with oat milk instead of almond milk because I'm not an almond milk fan. Welcome to the vlog. I think we're gonna do a weekend in my life. I have some fun things this weekend, thought I would vlog. This morning I voted and it was my first time voting in person because when I was registered to vote in Ohio, I was in school in New York for every election, so I'd always have to get an absentee ballot, but I'm finally a New York resident. So I did early voting this morning and that was the very first time that I've ever been able to vote in person. It is a beautiful Friday. It is like 60 something degrees outside, so nice out. Like the vibes outside are incredible right now. So I'm currently working from home. I'm at my desk. Um, if you're new here, my name's Alexis, I'm 25. I work from home, but I also am an actor and a performer and I do YouTube and I live in New York City. Welcome to the vlog, I'm very happy you're here. We kind of have a busy to-do list today. I'm currently working on my lunch break. I'm gonna go take a workout class. I have to clean. As you can see, all around me is kind of a mess. I'm currently in the process of redoing my apartment and reorganizing some things, so it's a little messy. I have to finish editing and uploading a video that I want to go live today. We're just gonna see where the day takes us. Tomorrow, I'm going to be walking from the top of Manhattan to the bottom of Manhattan, which is something I've done before. During 2020 and the beginning of 2021, me and Jonah would always do that on the weekend. That was kind of like our thing we would do. We always wanted to like get outside and go on walks and there was really nothing for us to do. So we would, on Sundays, go on super long walks and walk like between like 10 and 15 miles. And usually we'd walk like the length of Manhattan. I'm doing that tomorrow with my friend Emily. She has a YouTube channel herself and she's gonna vlog it, but I'll take you along for little parts of it and then maybe I'll share her video with you guys so you can kind of see the full the full walk tomorrow. Let's do the vlog, but right now I'm gonna work, so talk to you in a few. Wow, we, we have to clean soon. It is messy. Okay, back from my workout class. I just got a package from Fabletics. I was like obsessed with Fabletics in 2018. I literally was addicted. I had multiple accounts. That kind of fizzled out. I kind of stopped the past like three or four years, but I still have their account. And the way Fabletics works is it's like a, a subscription kind of. You have to skip the month in the first five days of the month or else they'll charge you $50, but that $50 goes toward an outfit. So over the past like three years, I've accidentally forgotten to skip the month four times. So I had like $200 worth of credits and I was like, I should probably use these before they expire. And it feels like it's free because I accidentally forgot to save the month so long ago that it's like I never even spent the money. Definitely not gonna try them on right now because I'm sweaty, but. So it's like wide leg pants. Apparently these are awesome. This has like great reviews. Blue sports bra. Oh, I didn't realize it was gonna be like cotton. You know I'm definitely gonna sweat through this in a second, but this is very cute. Cute. I'm unsure how I feel about white leggings, but a little white set. They're like jogger sweatpants. Cute. So that's like new unnecessary clothes that I don't need, but I ordered them, so <laughs> yes. That's kind of fun, can't wait to wear those. Just got back from my workout class. My lunch break is almost over, so I'm gonna rinse off really quick, make some lunch, and then keep working and hopefully get to editing this video because it needs to go out in the next few hours. Eating lunch, working. I'm having this, oh, I guess this cup is like in the way. I'm having some vegan mandarin chicken, which I had last week. Delicious, my new favorite thing. I'm having carrots and bell peppers and hummus and chips and a yogurt and the rest of my coffee. Kind of an eclectic lunch. It's like 11 p.m. and I haven't talked to you in a little bit. Um, I didn't get the YouTube video out that I was trying to get out, so bummer, but it's fine. I had a lot of stuff to do. I heard this terrifying loud booming noise that sent me into a spiral, and I thought it was explosions, but turns out it was just fireworks in Central Park. So that was great. And so I ordered dinner, Emily came over. She is here because she's gonna spend the night because we are doing our big walk. I was trying to say that Emily was here, but then my camera ran out of storage. But so she's here. We just watched the Selena Gomez documentary. It was very good. Now we're getting ready for bed. We're gonna leave at like 7.15-ish tomorrow. And no, not ish. 7.15. We're gonna leave at 7.15 tomorrow and we're gonna do our big walk. I've done this walk a couple times with Jonah. I think I actually have a vlog or two about it. Maybe I'll link it if I can find it. I'm excited, it's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Gotta go to bed because we all know I don't do that well with waking up early and it's gonna be pretty early, so. Okay, talk to you later. Good morning. <laughs> it is Saturday morning. It is 7-11 right now. 
We were initially planning on leaving at 6.30 to get there at 7, but we totally forgot that the sun doesn't rise till 7.30, and we didn't really feel like entering a park in the dark still. So we kind of postponed it a little bit. We're gonna meet our friend Bailey, then we're gonna take the subway uptown to 207th Street. I used to live up there, like in the Washington Heights area. So we made a whole route last night of where we're gonna go. We're gonna start up at the top, walk through Riverside Park near the GWB. I'm really excited because me and Jonah, during the pandemic, like I never left New York. So we quarantined in Washington Heights and we would go on these really long walks and we would always walk up in that area. I am super excited to pass my old apartment and stop some places uptown and go to the park there. I think it'll be fun because I. I literally have not been up there since I moved in January, which is pretty bad. And then we're gonna continue to make our way down. We're probably gonna go to the High Line in Chelsea, walk in Riverside Park some more, maybe get brunch near like Tribeca, Soho. We got a great day planned, um, and it's probably gonna take between like five and six hours. So it's November 5th, but shockingly, it's like gonna be 72 degrees outside today. It's gonna be so warm. So I'm literally wearing like shorts and a top, and I need to find a sweatshirt. walking to Riverside Park. Um, we're walking through Inwood right now. We're on the West Side Highway. We walked the wrong way. Now we're by the highway. We walked an extra like mile on accident, had to turn around, went back to where we started, and now we're on the right path. I will blame this one on myself since I kept saying I've done this walk before, I've been over here, and I didn't even realize. We're still in Washington Heights, and we are passing my old apartment building where I used to live. I'm feeling so nostalgic and sentimental right now. It's on 165th Street, and even though I'm happy with where I live now, I do miss it sometimes. Plants are so cute. Here's where I lived for <laughs> two years. Huge, beautiful building. I'll show you my window. Come on, come on. <laughs> I think we have to go across the street. Oh. Getting hit by a car. So it used to be easy to tell because you could see my curtains, but so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh well, it's not my window. It's Maggie's one. window. I'm. Oh. Is that the one with the purple? The one right the below white. the purple. The one right below. Oh. The purple. That Aww. Was, that was our, yeah. Good mems. Someone must be living next to the bathroom. And then my window was like right here, where there's the thing for the air conditioner to sit on. Oh, yeah. But I think the windows are open, so I think someone moved in. That's Yay. exciting. Because it wasn't selling for a long time. I kept checking out on Street Easy. <laughs> Alright, well, here's my place. West side now and can you believe that we walked all the way from over there there's the bridge how far have we walked so far like over 100 we're blocks or 10 miles and now we're back in Riverside Park I'm feeling a little uh, like I could pass out I need a little food what we need is a break we need a little one and I'm kind of like Oh, I'm being so dramatic, like I feel like I need food, but then I remembered, we've walked now a half marathon. We are at 13 miles. Plus, so it's actually, what? We're at, oh, we're over 13 miles. Over 13. It's been almost five hours. Got a protein shake That's and a good. big bar.
have hit 18 miles and right is that what it is 18 and a half we're at 18 and a half miles and we're almost there we freaking did it we're at the ferry terminal as you know i lived on staten island for four years so this is a really special moment for all of us okay i'm back it's only like what 7 30 right now i'm like limping 7.20. I got back like an hour ago. That was great. We really walked 19 miles when straight shot top to the bottom, like Riverside where we started. It was supposed to be 13. So we did add six miles onto the walk. And I think it's because we kept weaving in and out of the park. We made some stops to see the old apartments and then we got lunch and we got some breakfast. I think that added some. Also <laughs> at the beginning when we went the wrong way and went on a dead end course, which totally my bad. I was like, I've walked over here before like, I would always walk on this during like 2020 and I, I led everyone astray. It was really good, but now my body is hurting so badly. I felt really great up until once we were at mile 16, we stopped for some lunch because like we needed some like food and some protein. So those last three miles were pretty tough um, because we had been sitting for so long and like relaxing. So I've been stretching and I laid with my legs up against the wall. If you wanna see more footage of us going on the walk, I will link Emily's video below and you can watch her video of us doing the walk. I think she took a little more footage than I did because I think that's like her whole video. I love going on these long walks. I think it's great. I think it's a great way to see a lot of the city. Like I know I've spent a lot of time uptown, but I feel like a lot of people move to Manhattan like out of college and they move to Murray Hill or Soho and that's fine, but they never go to any other boroughs or neighborhoods. I don't know, I feel like it's easy in New York to kind of get caught up in all of it. And like, you know, you're going to the trendiest restaurants and the trendiest bars and you're meeting these people and you work on Wall Street. And it's like, I feel like it's easy to kind of forget about the community and the culture and kind of appreciate all of that. So if you ever have considered doing this walk, I'd recommend it. There's always a place in my heart for uptown. I mean, you can make a day out of it. The Met Cloisters are up there, which is beautiful. And Riverside Park is just beautiful under the bridge. I need to keep stretching because my body hurts. Um, and it's daylight savings, so technically it's 12.49, but the clock went back. I slept until 10.30. I was very tired. I initially woke up at like eight something, but then I was like, absolutely not. I made a pot of coffee this morning. I'm having peanut butter toast for breakfast. I'm eating so long after I got up because I woke up and I was like, okay. I like cleaned up my room a little bit. Keyword a little bit, you know, made my bed, took out all my trash and recycling. I did a little yoga. I am going to a dance class later, so I really need to make sure I'm stretched out and recovered from my walk yesterday so I don't hurt myself. And the Vikings are playing today, so. I'm wearing my Vikings sweatshirt in support because Jonah's from Minnesota and he's a big Vikings fan. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen with daylight savings, but I always like, it is shocking to me. I've literally been in New York in the fall when daylight savings happens for seven years in a row. And every year it shocks me how early the sun sets. Like in Ohio, where I lived, Ohio was right before the time change. So the sun sets way later. So like where my parents live right now, the sun is setting at like 5.30. So it's five o'clock right now. It is fully dark out. It is dark outside. I love daylight and I love daytime. And I think I get so frustrated, especially now that I work a nine to five. Me saying that like I just started working a nine to five after my two freaking years of working a nine to five. Before I'm even done working, the sun, it's dark outside. Like that is so annoying to me. Like I'm about to take a shower and I'm gonna put my pajamas on and it's gonna be like six o'clock. It is crazy outside right now because the marathon was today. So people are like all over the place. It was overwhelming. There were so many people. I even walked down a different street than I usually do because I thought there'd be less people, but they're on every single street from 45th street, like in Midtown 
all the way up to the Upper West Side because the marathon ends on 72nd Street on the West Side, I'm pretty sure. So I think everyone finishing kind of is like meeting up with their people. I didn't realize the marathon goes so late. I guess I don't really know much about it. I know they start in like different heats and you know, there's people with different times and everything, but I didn't realize people maybe are still running it right now. Like it looked like people were just finishing and like finding their friends and stuff. So if you know about how that works, let me know. But now I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna wash my hair because it's been like this for two days. Then I'm gonna make dinner, but I have no idea what I want. feels like it's 9 p.m. right now. It's 6.30. I'm in my pajamas. I just ordered Chinese food. I got sesame tofu, which I've never gotten from this place before. I used to get the best sesame tofu ever from Great Wall Chinese. It was on 181st Street. But ever since I moved more downtown, I've yet to find a Chinese restaurant that has tofu that I like. Actually, I take that back. The best tofu I ever had was at a place called New Choi Hee on Staten Island. That was the best. Hopefully this is good. Mm -hmm. 